have uh, we have uh, particular individuals, I could say individuals, that have made Uganda proud. I could give examples of Kipro Teach. You've all heard about yeah, Kipro yes, Teach. He's yes, won yes. twice now. Uh, we have Inzikuru, and all those people have made us proud. And um, and we have Kipsiro too. Mujukira Kipsiro. Yes. Uganda Cranes usually makes us proud when it goes out and wins matches. And usually our government has a Kipro Teach Bamua Bajero Mpia. Nebamusubi is a new baby, a new house. Izikuru, they built for her a big house. Uh, Uganda Crane sometimes gets money over over 200 something million because they've won. But today's question is is it okay to give lavish awards, very big awards, a lot of money to individuals that have prospered in sports instead of investing all that money in, a, in the department in general? What would be better? Rewarding him after he has invested his little money? Or really, the government should develop the whole sector in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it should be given to that particular individual that has really won a medal for Uganda. Because as you can see right now, we have corruption in the country. Mm -hmm. That money would be given to that very sector, the sports sector, but that money will be swindled by people who do not even have any talent, who cannot even run a mile. Mm -hmm. Yet this man is there toiling, getting his own money to train, go to those countries to, to run, and he's not getting anything. Actually, if it's about 300 meters given to Kiprotik and then it's taken to the whole sector, Kiprotik mm. might even get only 1 million, which is not worth what he has done for the country. So he should get that money and use it on his own. So in your opinion, Bazimu? Yes, because sometimes even the government does not come out to help them. Before they win, it does not come out to help them. It's not bad to reward individual, uh, but uh, also the government should look into the whole issue of sport from the grassroots so that we make sure it develops on the grassroots so that we can have more people coming up as champions. They go out there, they, they present the country, they win medals for the country. And uh, also, uh, as an individual, they should be rewarded because of the effort they put when they go out there. But again, they should not forget about the, uh, the sector as a whole. They should also develop the sector as well as uh, reward individuals when they do as proud when they go out there and win medals. Mm. That's what I would say. Instead of rewarding that 200 million, shouldn't they say let's improve the whole sector in general so that we have more people teaches instead of giving it to one person? Now, before even improving on that sector, that we, we, can't, we are not seeing many people who are there to do what Kipro teach is doing. So by rewarding Kipro teach, the government is encouraging the youth to do what? To also get involved. So by rewarding Kipro teach, people will get the, the motivation and in, as they come up, the government will also get the moral of being what? Of improving on, the, on that sector. For me, my side, I, I do appreciate the reward given to an, to a, an individual effort. Mm -hmm. Because Kipro teach is an individual effort. But what I want to appeal to the government is also to come down the schools so that they can develop that current. Mm -hmm. Because there are many children who have these talents. So the government should come in seriously and develop these talents in the young children. Yeah, he has already mentioned what I wanted to say. Actually, we should have an institute for that, right from uh, the grassroots. Or maybe like after P7, my child cannot continue with education and he can go for that. I mean, why not? The government should support that. Other than he keep teach his struggle alone, and at the end he's struggling, and he earns his own money as he is now. I mean, a school should be there. And it goes the it, government. Mm, yeah, it actually goes on to to other sports too. Because mm. I'm seeing Uganda cranes here at some point received 384 million shillings mm. oh, for win, and that is mm. money. Many youths are not employed. Mm. Should come out and engage themselves in Olympics, what, what, for all sorts of games, so that they may also feel like. Instead of yesterday, I saw someone, a woman was standing in town. A, a youth came, a gentleman came, he snatched away his necklace and ran. Like, if, uh, if the government brings, like, if, if it invests in such things, people will come, more people will come and start practicing, like, Olympics, what, what, and they'll get what to do and they'll get money. Instead of being thieves, on the streets, what? That's, true. That's true. We had an opportunity to talk to John Vian in Simbe, a sports journalist, and he had some very interesting opinions. 
let's take a look at them and when we come back to like, what's the way forward should they keep on dishing out money to these particular individuals which is a good thing to encourage them or invest in a whole sports department in general so that we get more gold or gold medals instead of banking on teacher running all the time let's take a look at this I'm grateful when, uh, of course, the sportsmen are rewarded after they've achieved. But I think it's a bit of uh, being short-sighted if we stop at that. Because we've, uh, it's happened so many times, I remember in 2012 when uh, Kipotich won the gold at the Olympics. We were still rewarded heavily. But when you look at uh, what followed um, thereafter, you hardly see anything being put in place, especially in regards to the progress of athletics in this country. So for me, I think that we need to get to a point where we need to realize that we need to invest in sports in general, not just rewarding people who achieve. Of course, individuals have got to also have some bit of self-drive, but the issue is that um, we're not the kind of economy that is so rich. So people have limited resources to drive themselves individually, unless you have corporate sponsorship coming in place. And that also needs government, uh, government push, government to push the corporate sponsors, giving them incentives so that they can inject that money into the athletes or into the sportsmen. Already there's a high performance center being set up in, in Capturera. We need to have more of those. We need to stop this, uh, um, one of the trends that is happening right now in the country whereby uh, soccer fields are being sold off to investors. You, you, you just can't imagine that all soccer fields are being sold off for investment, yet we need to improve um, those facilities in order to nurture more sportsmen. Because the soccer fields are not just for football alone, but even the athletes themselves. If you have secondary schools or even primary schools without football fields, that's not good. I think we need to have a sports ministry first and foremost. We need to have sports structures put in place. We are, right now we are still grappling with the Sports Act that we are supposed to, that's supposed to run sports in this country. If right now you have it on the table, it's not being pushed through, it's not being enacted, then you ask yourself how much interest does government really have to ensure that uh, sports goes to the next level. We still have sports on amateur level. We don't want to have that. We need to have sports at a professional level, and that's the only way we can have uh, sports grow. What would we want the government to do to actually encourage sports? Mom? that government should the government ap appreciate more or invest more in sports? No, the government has to invest more in sports because there are some who are not able. You see, there are some who are not able. There are some deep in the villages there. For example, where the British came from. There are many there who can still do that. Okay. But before we even tell the, uh, the mm. government to spend so much money on sports, to Funamu chiefs if Kiprotich runs, what is the benefit of having a strong sports department in Uganda? on the issue of how the government benefits. You know the government benefits very much uh, like when they, they win medals out there the national anthem is prayed there. There are people there who don't know about Uganda. They get to know about Uganda mm. and they would like to come and see where that man came from, Kikochi. And uh, yes. Mm. And when they come in here, they bring in foreign exchange. Uh, the tourism industry, you know, boosted. is boosted. Yeah. Okay. Yes. When I look at you and you're doing this, but you you how somehow your life is changed. I'll be motivated to come and join the sector. Why should I run? Okay, if the government is to finance the sector, let's let it go to the budget and see what kind of allocation can you make to the 
export sector. Mm. Allocate that money there. But when Chipotich comes back with the Uganda cranes, reward, reward them because they deserve it. Now you look at Uganda cranes right now. There is a time when you would not even hear anything about it. I hold here, not talking about Uganda cranes anywhere in the news. Apart from saying maybe this person was brought back, deported from Kenya because he cannot play very well. But right now, because they are getting money, you become motivated. Guys now play and you like, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's why even number even becomes Edges. very full mm. eh, when mm. there is a match. Because mm. people are motivated, they do everything to the best of their ability. So we should reward them. If we are to improve the sector, go to the budget. We, we have money, we tax everywhere, allocate money yeah, to the budget. Us. Yeah, they tax us everything. Actually, <laughs> Just because I've not bought a tax, but I would pay, I would pay tax if I bought a tax. I'm paying tax already. Why not finance the sector with, uh, with the budget? We have enough money. Mm -hmm. We can do that. And let also those people work upon corruption. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we should not say that the government is not financing that sector. But somehow money is windowed. Right now I may not have proof, but I know it's done down there. It's done. So work upon corruption so that when you send their one million, it will be worth sending it there and it will be what it's supposed to do. Mm. Reward Kiprotik when he comes back. Give Uganda cranes money because they play. But we call them two full and two foot deva MPs, two foot seven MPs junior. Imagine we are supposed to advise, advise the government on how to improve the sports sector. Because trust me, I have some cousins back in the village where I know they can run. No boat can run away from them when they are grazing. <laughs> they are good runners. But the world doesn't know about them. So how do we how do how do we advise the government to encourage such people to tap into such talent? How are they going to help this person who has talent but cannot travel to Kenya to train running become a star? government then they are also minding about their own mm. personal interests. Good you zam to that amataka. For example, mom is in Bobota, you get up to pitch. While you pitch while you uh, game near game. Mm. But Jao, yet my youth were going there. To play football, they were playing, they were training their mm. talents. Mm. So it is no longer there. It's not only that, but also other teachers elsewhere. So, Kati, government. But Then tomorrow you will see them quiet. So there is no one who can advise the government. I've seen this happen in European schools where a talented child, if you're very, very good at football or very good at running, you get a scholarship. You don't get to pay school fees. How, how does the government encourage a child who sprints? What are those things we really can tell the government to do? To encourage everyone who is out there. Because I might not be as lucky as Kipro teach, but I'm actually very good at high jump, and you don't know. And I'm good, and my teachers can say I am very good. How do we encourage that, th th these people through schools? Um, how? Uh, through the teachers? teachers. Sometimes sports is. Uh, I, I would say it's a talent in most cases, mm -hmm. but it also needs to be boosted. You need to train. Mm -hmm. So when we go to schools, I think the government, like it has very many projects. A project should be started. Recently, I had the government starting a project of vocational work, like mm -hmm. can't we have uh, like an institution? It may be one for the start, mm -hmm. but basically, uh, I mean, concentrating on sports more than any other thing. Mm -hmm. Because we have UPE, but right now UPE, Baso Mesa, since I'm so much of an obscene, I'm not in a get a sign up the big Zaban and Pila Newaba woman. Nay, I know you are going to But at least an institution should be made. Mm -hmm. People go there, train. Smaller, smaller leagues, and as it financed by the government. Mm -hmm. Because as you said, scholarships are there. But when you go to Chitende, because Mr. Mulindra is there, scholarships are there for people who. Because he understands the value. Yeah, because sports. he understands the value. The government should come out and show us it he understands the value mm -hmm. of running, of being one of the chipotists in the country. Mm -hmm. A Kolewo institution, they can make this is a project for all the people who have talent. Mm -hmm. Come yes, and register. No, but this one is not worth, this one is worth. It may happen, but if, I'm, if I come to the institution and I'm not worth, 
deep down in me, I know I can run. I'll go mm -hmm. back and train. And trust me, the next time I'll come, I'll win everybody there. So it should come with, it should come up with like a small project to finance sports, maybe like an institution. We can begin small, and in the end, we shall have a big thing. Wow. But for as long as the government thinks about it, right now, I know. Mm -hmm. They all think about giving Chiproticho, but bringing up the smaller, smaller ones in the I may have a brother, actually. He, he's in baby class, but he won. Uh, he, he ran and then he was number one. Mm. When he mm. came back home, he didn't run the best, but we rewarded him. Of course. Okay. Okay. You know him. what? You won those ones, but you can't even win those big people you see there. Right now, he's very good at back summer. Every sport at home, <laughs> he does everything because we rewarded okay, him. Okay. And we trusted in him. We told him, you can do you it. Can do it. You when you go back, do that, do that. Why can the government we just do that? Encourage something them. small. We encourage them. If you're and back at something, home. Eh?